Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Imagine Earth. This is a strategy game about colonising planets and the sort of various short-sighted steps that you can take that will inevitably doom you. It's actually a very interesting concept, but we'll, we'll, we'll go into that once we uh, get into the game. Now, I have to point out at this point that this is in early access, so the typical disclaimers apply. Nothing you see is final. Everything is subject to change. Any bugs are lack of polish in places, etc, etc. Please attribute it to its in-dev status. Let's go to campaign. And currently there's only uh, the two prologues in the game. As you can see, there's chapter 2, 3, 4 and 5 work in progress. So we're just going to do the uh, chapter 1, uh, sorry, we're going to do, uh, oh, chapter 1, sorry. There's prologue and then there's a the chapter 1. So we're going to do the uh, the chapter 1 Joma. So we're going to do, uh, well, we could do time trial. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the mission, okay? So our mission objective, set up with a colony of uh, a million people. Keep global warming under 50%. Expand your city centre to level 3 and basically other stuff. We'll start it and I'll just show you once we jump in. So... Here's our nice planet. Hi, welcome to Imagine Earth Limited. I'm Joe, the head of expansion development. Of course, I'm too busy to care about the odds and ends. Just build up a base with all of the stuff. You hear the man? Let's get to work. So I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But let's just let's just tell this guy to shut up. So we're going to collect this coin thing. For that's something that's a little bit annoying. Welcome to that letter. And we're going to zip round the, uh, the the world. So we'll just spin round and we'll collect all of the money here. And this, I'll just point out now, is a thing I hate. If there's one thing in this game that I would say is just terrible, I would say it's having to spin around and click on stuff to pick it up. Just put it in your inventory automatically. I don't, I don't understand why I have to pick it up like that. It's a bit strange. Anyway. Uh, it's rich, it's rich in pre precious metals and gold. Uh, we have to place the first city center. So, we have new objective here. So we have, uh, well, we have to place the city center. Okay, we need to place the landing site. So as you can see, this uh, we can spin things around. This is the planet. We've got the pole up there, and we click on that little red button to spin it back around. Uh, we've got the sun over there, as you can see. We, you can probably see like a little hazy atmosphere around, and that'll play a big part in the game. Um, if I can just pause it for a second, I'll slow it down to a sort of slow time. I'll explain the UI. So basically, you've got how much money I have, uh, our energy, our food, and our sort of goods production, how many people we have, the global warming, the sort of calendar time and the speed, we can change that. We have how many of these little build tokens and how many of these city center tokens. Then we've got some uh, sort of objectives here Then other buttons as well. So last message and navigation, we can sort of navigate around. Anytime there's like a little eye with a book there, you can press that and it'll basically tell you how to do things, do different things, okay? So it's uh, quite simple for that, and uh, one of the good things I really like is when you mouse over pretty much anything, it will just pop up and at the bottom and just say, "This is what it is. This is how much you're producing. This is how much you you know you're sort of getting used, etc." Gives you a little breakdown, so it's quite easy to play. Anyway, we've got these sort of two shining beacons. We've got one there, and we've got one over here, and this is where we can place our city center. So as you can see, it's sort of um, it's sort of these po well, it's polygons, isn't it? So um, we've got these. Uh, Sort of triangles where we can place our city center. The whole thing's sort of triangle based like that. As you can see, I'm mousing over the different triangles and such. So I'm going to click there, and then we're going to select the city center, and it costs one of these little symbols, which then puts it into there. And that'll basically unlock city center for us. So we click city center, and now we can place it. And you can see we've got like a little highlighted area where that's like the borders of the city, okay? So I think we will say uh, there is a good idea. So it's going to fire it down. Hang on, it'll come down in a minute. Where is it? There it is. We it's getting fired from somewhere. And it's going to come down. And it's going to land. Yep, firing retros and landing away. And we'll just thump down nice and safe. Not like a crash or anything. There we go. And now it's going to start creating the borders of the city. And now it's popped up. Uh, there we go. And now it's, it's starting to build. And we've got another thing here that we can learn about. It, this is, again, look, this thing here, I need, for some reason, this is the token that I use to unlock that. Why do I have to click on it to unlock it? Why do I have to click on it to pick it back up? Just put it back in the inventory. That, that, ugh. I don't know why that is. Anyway, so, uh, we need to do a couple of things. We need to start getting some energy, some electricity. Or, well, it's just called energy in this. Uh, we need to get some food, and we need to get some goods. So... In order to do that, we can place things uh, around. So just left click, and then we've got different things that we can select. So we can go goods production, we can do food production, we can do energy production. So if we click on goods, you can see we have a factory that we can unlock. So we'll just close. We're not going to do that for now. 
Uh, right click will cancel that. Energy, you can see we've got a coal plant that we can unlock. And food production, we've got an industrial farm that we can unlock. We're going to unlock energy production first. Uh, and we're going to click on that. That unlocks it with that token. And then we can place a coal plant for 4,500. Okay, so there we go. We're going to place it somewhere. Now, we want to place it uh, on... A fossil deposit is the best place to put it. But when I sort of mouse over things, you can see it says 23, right? That's the sort of 20, 20, uh, you know, 20, 20, 23, and then 30. Because that's because it's on that fossil deposit, it's much better. That's the best place it can be. However, it is next to this bit of farmland. And if I wanted to put a farm there, you would get a negative. Because obviously you're putting a farm next to a coal-powered or a coal-fired... Um, power station so it's not great so we're going to put it there just to demonstrate that you can see this is flashing because uh, there's a problem with uh, there being no electricity or no energy also my mouse over it, you can see the health of the uh, of the the area because you will get different things that will damage stuff so you can see that's on the right then we can see how happy people are so then they're all right we can click on things we can see like expand city it tells you how much you need what you need to do etc and also when you click on it, it gives you Hang on, on the left hand side there, shows city centre, uh, pretty much what it's producing and what it's using, okay? At the bottom you can see there's like a little sort of oily brown like what droplet or droplet. That's basically how much pollution it's uh, producing, which is not good. So we'll just pick that token up again, just automatically put it there please. So, and this is basically telling us coal powers, blah blah blah, blah. basically it's telling us about the coal plants, basically what I said earlier. So, let's produce a food production plant, we're going to uh, get industrial farm, we'll unlock it. Now we're still waiting for cash and we've actually got no cash, uh, so we need to start mining. So we're going to start mining the gold from there, okay? And we can also mine trees, so we can click mine trees, and it'll start chopping down these forests. And then, uh, basically, once that goes round, it'll pop a little money bag above it. You can cancel it at any time by just clicking there, and it will stop chopping it down. So basically, you can chop a little bit down and, uh, you know, keep going. So uh, sometimes that's good. You want to chop a little bit down, but you don't want to chop them all down because the more trees you chop down, the more forests, the uh, more your basically your global warming will go up, and eventually you'll start having a bit of a deficit on that. You won't be actually absorbing um, the emissions that you are producing, and then you start a global warming, which causes all sorts of things. And that's that's actually I think the biggest. Well, that's probably the most interesting part of the game, at least from my point of view, because you get things like seas rising. You get like basically things becoming like all this farmland will become desert and such it's really interesting for that you know it, it basically becomes you start making the thing uninhabitable and uh i don't know if there's any lessons to be learned there i think uh it's sort of a good simulation for what could happen in real life but obviously there's a game so that's a bit of a heavy su uh, subject but uh it's nice that it sort of sort of shows you that i think um one thing as well, you will get different things like hurricanes and typhoons and tornadoes and all sorts of things. Tor I don't know about the first I've definitely experienced tornadoes, but you basically get, you know, extreme weather and such, and it's, uh, I really do like that. Anyway, I, I don't like it. What, should, what I should really say is that I uh, like the gameplay feature. Let me chop down some more trees, because I really do need to start uh, speeding up a little bit. We'll start chopping down trees. In fact, we're going to chop these two down so we can uh, start expanding around. You also have these, like, like, rocks and such, which actually aren't doing anything, but they're just there to basically slow you down. Actually, I've got it on really slow speed. That's why we're taking ages to do this. Let me rip all this up. Again, I don't know why I have to click to uh, pick the money bugs up. I wish it would just do it like, not, you know, basically just put it in my inventory. I don't understand why I have to click on it. Anyway, let me place that industrial farm there. And that's going to start producing that. And then what we need to do is also place... There we go. Yes, yeah, basically telling us about the fertile soils. I, I pretty much placed that on farmland, so it's the best thing to do. So if I show you again, farmland, that says 21, but it's uh, it's actually minus minus 4 because it's next to this uh, coal-powered uh, plant. Just got to pick that up there. What we need to do is probably start clearing them rocks for 2 grand, and then we need to build some sort of industrial goods. So we're going to go to goods production, make a factory, or unlock the factory, and then we're going to place a factory... Uh, probably out the way. Uh, I think probably there, I think, is the best place to put it. Okay. So now we've got plus 24 energy, plus 24 of this uh, food, and we're going to get plus, in a moment, uh, of this sort of industry such. Uh, industry stuff like goods and that. There we go. And now we're going to start getting people. There we go. Look, 3,000, 4,000. It's going to keep going up and up and up. Fantastic. So, I'm just going to click that. 
We're going to get another objective here. Ah, we've got another thing we can do now. Urban development. We can develop city districts. Excellent. Let me just pick that, pick that thing up there and that thing up there. And we're going to start creating some city districts. So we're going to put one there. And we'll probably put one there as well now. We don't have enough money. You can actually see money's going down. Uh, so we need to st probably start mining that as well. Basically mine all the gold that we can. There's also these things here, which are like, um, I don't know what you would call them, like, um, ruins and such. But if you, if you, if you put people near them, the population would be happy because obviously they're like nice ruins and such. And they, you know, it's like probably a tourist attraction or something. You place, place your fear to take the kids on the weekend. But, um, you can also, like, basically rip them apart and take all of the, the worth, the stuff that's worth things there. Um, let me spin that back around to that. You can always press on that little diamond to change back to your, basically put your orientation back to uh, normal. Good news, research technology, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to close all that. Like I said, this, that's the sort of tutorial thing. These are the tutorial type missions, um, which I do. I think they're quite good. They're very effective anyway. So we've uh, got the ability. We've got one of these uh, tokens. So we can uh, actually research different stuff now, unlock different things, so we can research automation there, we can research energy saving there, unlock it, unlock all the different things. I pr like to do energy saving, there we go, and then we're going to start doing that. So if I do that, on the left hand side you can see it's basically going to cost me a little bit, but I'm, uh, going, to, I'm, basically, I'm going to be using less energy doing that, which is good. Let me start producing some more city districts, one there and one there, okay, so we'll start producing more, some more city districts. Looks like we're out of that there. That was where we had the um, sort of mine, uh, sort of the gold sort of gold seam thing, and I've uh, got rid of that now. Uh, we've chopped it all down, it's all gone. Ah, oh, the last one of that's gone as well. So we haven't got any more. Right, so we need to exp we want to expand the city. It's going to cost uh, five grand to do, so we can do that now. What that does is that increases our borders all the way around. So once it's upgraded, it'll do that as well. We can also uh, increasing also allows you to get more people as well. As you can see, we're on plus pretty much, pretty much, pretty much for everything. Ah, we've just gone down on our food, okay? And on that as well. Because we're getting more population, we're expanding, we need to keep building s more things. So, uh, we'll probably put a farm there. It's not very efficient, but uh, we do need to get that out. I see we're not producing much now at all. So, um, I should probably... Don't know what the best thing to do is. We'll speed up to max speed. I'm getting money because of basically tax, but um, obviously people are not going to be happy because there's uh, pretty much minus everything here. Let us build one another farm. Actually, no, we need to produce more energy, to be honest with you. Best place to put it would be probably there. That's like in a desert. So we're going to energy production. Our coal plant's massive. Costs a lot of money. So uh, we will just wait until we've got enough money, and then we'll build it there. We have these sort of optional objectives on there. So cash bonus, uh, new technology. Basically, if I get new, I get a new piece of technology if I get uh, 300,000 people. And uh, currently, I'm not going to get that, obviously, because I'm uh, nowhere near that. But, um, oh, no, I, actually, I am. I need uh, 61,000. No. 51,000, no, 59,000, I'll get there in the end, 59,000, so, um, I'll be okay. So, uh, as you can see, this is going down now. Uh, that's now just says, uh, was it 120 it was? Basically, yeah, 120. So I'm definitely on plus. I am actually, you know, I'm not producing more than uh, the planet can handle, but uh, I am creeping towards that. So anyway, we need more farms. I'm going to put a farm there, and as you can see, that's only going to cost 19. It's going to make 19 because we've got minus 4 from that one and minus 1 from that one. But we're going to put it there nonetheless, just to demonstrate that. Uh, we're probably going to clear them rocks there because uh, there might be something interesting underneath. That's They're actually quite expensive sometimes to clear. I'd like to clear that because I don't know what's underneath, but uh, I think we'll leave it for now. Uh, we can't really expand that. Uh, basically, the, 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 oh, hang on. Uh, yes, we've developed some gas turbine power plants. Yes, very, very good. So we now can make some gas turbine power plants. There you go, gas turbines. But it does cost me one of them tokens to unlock, which I currently haven't got. That's also giving me a bit of a tutorial there. Forests can grow bigger over the time. Yes, we can. So the, the, the thing will change. The, uh, the the planet will change over time, but um, depends how long you're playing, really. I mean, I don't, I've never seen the forest sort of grow. Um, I know you can plant forests, but... Um, you can be basically you can plant forests, and that will obviously start messing around with your uh, greenhouse uh, gases and such. Let me just uh, probably make another bit of a city. I think we'll put it. I think we'll put it there. More people. There we go. Even though we're not actually producing much uh, food, but by getting that, we'll get more people. Which should give me another token if I get more, yeah, basically if I get more people, we should be okay. Let's start researching uh, 
energy saving on all of these pretty much. Um, there we go. That's one thing I'm not too fussed on as well. See that says energy saving? Oh, I'll have that. I've actually already got it. Why doesn't it? It should just grey it out, really. But again, it's sort of hard to hard to knock it because obviously the game is in um, a, you know, early access and it's still in development and such. So I'm sure things that'll change. I really hope this clicking on money to pick it up stuff changes. So we should be able to upgrade that now to level two. There we go. The way you can do things, it basically upgrade stuff. It says you need expand city two of three. It means the numbers next to it. So that's got basically one there. That's already that, that's already a one, okay? That's a number two, that's the only thing it's adjacent to. So I need another one, because it's only adjacent to a number two. So I need to add it up basically to three. But uh, you know, we can't at the moment. Anyway, I need to get more people and they'll get another one of these research tokens. Then I'll be able to get probably automation. I need another farm though. I think just getting another farm is going to be a good idea. So let me get a farm. Um we'll get a farm probably. See, I want it out the way. What if, what if I put it right next to another farm? Not great, not great. Uh, we'll put it on the sea there, why not? <laughs> and then we will start uh, probably getting another factory up and running. I'm going to chop down these trees here just to demonstrate some of the bad things that can happen. Now, this is something that I would not normally do, but like I said, this is just to demonstrate things. So chop all that down. As you can see, this is going down, and eventually we will start producing... Uh, well, basically, it'll start going quite bad. Right, let me dump a... Probably put another factory down, because we do need another factory, I think. There we go. Uh, and then we will probably put another... Uh, another sort of city centre thing there. Another uh, city district, rather. We're going to upgrade them to be, keep them energy saving. And we've got energy saving. And we've got another upgrade token. And we're now running out of power again. So we're going to place another, or we're going to place a energy production. We could get a gas plant. I'm just going to go for coal. Eventually you can get wind turbines. I have uh, got wind turbines on this. But um, I don't know how far they're going to go with that. Like how far. Uh, there we go. Expansion bonus. Excellent. I've got another city centre. So if I wanted to, I can come over here and say city centre. Let's place it uh, there. There you go. We'll have another city centre for reasons and such. But yes, there you go. Let's start chopping some more down. Um, I'll chop all them down really quickly just to show you some of the stuff because um, I've pretty much shown you like the sort of basic mechanics of the game. Um, but I want to show you the global warming effects, which are quite, quite devastating, actually. Uh, I'm just going to chop all these down. There we go. So I'm chopping all these down and... Uh, that's basically going to wreck the planet. It's going to completely wreck the entire thing. And that's sort of the point. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here, just to show you uh, how this functions. There we go. More, more small people. There we go. And we also need to do other things. So we'll get a farm. There we go. We'll get a... Uh, oh, we'll get probably another coal plant there. We'll expand that city to level two. We've got two upgrade tokens now, which is okay. We will probably research then. Uh, robots, there we go. We'll start getting them so we get uh, at least all the things we can. Global warming is increasing, as you can see, it's on 2%. So that'll start changing the climate, which is uh, quite interesting, actually. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. Now we start get. Now we're starting to get different things. So now we've got a greenhouse, which actually is better for the environment, but it's not. You don't produce as much, and that's where you have to really start thinking about a couple of things. Because if you want to sort of factory farm the area, then you can. That's fine. You can do that. However, what happens if you factory farm it too much and you get global warming? That's not good. As you can see, global warming, it's starting to melt the ice cap now. So the water level will start to increase. Uh, and now we can actually create forests because I've chopped a lot down, but I don't really need to. I'm going to research a greenhouse and place it there. So a greenhouse is better. Oh, hang on. There we go. Look, we've got a little sort of couple of, well, couple of tornadoes now. And they're going to start damaging things. We'll research hydroponics on their greenhouses. Lovely. Uh, we'll put another one there, I think. Greenhouse. That is uh, artifacts. We can plunder for 16 grand. Why not? <laughs> um, and I think the sort of the good balance of this game comes where you are basically um, having to decide whether you want to either go completely crazy and sort of wreck the planet, or look at it short-sightedly, or play it slowly and do your best, do the best you can to. Oh, it looks like things are getting damaged. Let me. Uh, uh, can we repair them yet? 
Uh, we will, hang on, uh, repair them. Yeah, we go and repair them. When things get damaged, they uh, become less efficient and such. But yes, you have to think, hang on, if you want to be short-sighted about this, then you can do it. But uh, things start, bad things start happening, like all of these tornadoes and such. Let me just uh, upgrade or repair that. Can we upgrade these? Upgrade them all. No, I think they've already, I think they've already been upgraded, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, we're not producing enough energy. However, we do have uh, wind parks. Oh, we can't actually unlock them. So yes, there seems to be more like sort of greener options later on in the game. But when you first start off, uh, you're pretty much limited to uh, start. You know, pretty much limited to uh, um, all of these other things that are quite quite nasty. That's bad. Uh, yes, growing deserts make uh, more and more landmasses useless for you. So as you see, we're starting at deserts now. More and more deserts, and that's not good. That's almost exploded. Um, obviously, I've got this on max speed and such, just to demonstrate this. But that's basically... Look at all that. Look, all the land's changing because our, you know, this is going up too much. All You can see all of like this pollution in the atmosphere. And this is where the... Um, I really do think it's a really interesting part of the game. I wouldn't mind its own devastation you've caused in the planet turning up with bad for business. Yeah, yeah. There's one guy that um, sort of really doesn't care and is all about the cash, and there's the other guy that's sort of a bit sort of moral. There's a couple of different characters in the game. Uh, anyway, let's see if we can repair these things. I mean, look at all these deserts that we're starting to get. I mean, we're on 55% or 56% global warming now, which isn't great um, by any means. And it's basically going to get worse. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. The site is getting flooded. Oh, yes, we're getting flooded here now. Can I repair it? Well, probably, but is it really going to do anything? Because it's just going to... The water is just going to keep coming in. Because, the you know, the ice caps are melting. Look at that. Look how low that's got. That was quite tall before. Yeah, that's, that's gone. That's just exploded because of the uh, the water coming in. I've never got this game to 100% global warming. I've got it to over 50. In fact, I believe I got to about 50 odd percent on this to about this point. Look how dirty the water is. It's just brown. Ugh. Um, yeah, I got this to about 50 odd percent, I think. And then just had to restart the game and then tried it again and played it as like sort of all like sort of happy and friendly and uh, oh, look at all that. All the pollution in here. Look, when I mouse over it, you can see on the left-hand side we've got like a pollution. Yeah, it, it's just covered in pollution. It's just this pollution being spread everywhere. That's horrible. Uh, yeah, I just restarted again and uh, played it, uh, you know, much safer and, uh, you know, better, basically. And I um, was actually able to uh, win this map. Look at that. Look at that. All the water's coming in and stuff. That's really good. That is really good. I like that a lot. Look at all this. We're losing loads of land masses, the stuff that's there. Is it's wrecking all of this? It's just this is going terrible. Let me let me speed up by making some more coal plants. Just you know why not? That'll just you know get the global warming up even further. There we go. I've never got it 100%. I'm just doing this to get it 100% now. But look at all look at how much we've got. Look at all the stuff we've lost. As this has increased, all of the waters uh, the the water levels uh, increased. Look at that. That's completely underwater now. That's getting flooded. No point in repairing it really, but why not? We're 90% now. 90%. This is unsalvageable, basically. And this thing's pretty much going to be just destroyed. I mean, look what we've done to this place. We've completely and utterly wrecked it. Wrecked the planet completely. 100%. There we go. We failed it. <laughs> and we basically have to take off. Um, because it's exceeded critical level. And basically wiped and messed the planet up. Completely balls it up. Let's go to main menu. Um, there you go. That's uh, a bit of Imagine Earth. Now, I, I, I'm, I've got mixed feelings about this game. I think it's... Obviously, it is early on, so it's it's impossible for me to make a solid judgment on it, but I, th I think the concept's great. Basically, to go landing on a planet and having to... Um, Having to basically pick a way of, you know, having to survive and such and having to do what's necessary is quite good because obviously you have to start off with some of the tech that's a bit dirty, but eventually you can move over to other things. Um, I would like to have had the option to, say, pick one way or the other right from the start. So instead of being given one thing, I've like been given one sort of power plant, basically saying, right, you've got your unlock token. Do you want to have the nasty power plant that produces a lot or the wind power that produces a little bit, but is sort of green? Uh, and have the option to pick, you know, uh, one of the two, and I'm guessing that's something that they could do because obviously the campaign they, they, these th that was only uh, that was only chapter one. I'm guessing they could do that in later chapters, but I don't know whether that's what they're planning on doing. I, I think what from what it seems it seems as if they're going to work it so you get um, 
basically the, the, the sort of the really nasty stuff at the start and then you unlock the other stuff as you go on. I'm not I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Um, obviously there's a couple of little kinks like having to click on stuff that I don't really like. But um, overall I think the premise is great. I really, really do like the premise of like basically you having to manage the entire thing. Taking into taking your needs into account as well as having to manage everything else. Uh, manage, you know, basically not mess the planet up. I think it's really good. Um, at the moment I would recommend you check it out. It's uh, quite early on so obviously it's uh, completely up to you whether you want to uh, purchase or not or sort of jump in. But um, as always these early access things you are generally buying into an idea. But obviously there is some uh, solid stuff here then you'll probably get a couple of hours out of it. Um, but yeah, links are in the description. I do, I, do, I do like it. It's not it's not something that's really grabbing me for some reason, but um, I can appreciate what they're trying to do here, and I think it's something to keep an eye on at least. Anyway, there you go. Links are in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.